Hello. Yes, I'm Brother Sean, and yes, I'm in fancy dress. Forgive me, it's my uniform as an enclosed lay monastic monk in the Teo community of St. Francis. Yeah, a community that was initially set up from the promptings of Francis of Assisi and Jesus the Barefoot Galilean, otherwise known as the Cosmic Christ. Back in April 2008, we stepped out of our comfort zone as a Catholic Christian and we began a long, arduous journey to try and reach out to all faiths. And along the way, encountering very little support from within the Abrahamic faith. But the topic of this isn't about me, it's about what I sense in my heart are some of the faces of the Antichrist. Recently, I contacted some of my Facebook friends and I shared with them a little about the Teo Vision, the field of dreams, creating that eco-sustainable lay monastic community where brothers and sisters of different faiths can come. Come together for agape and fellowship, to sing with one voice, to sing from one's loving heart, a blessing, and to honor the traditions of all faiths and not exclude anyone in that process. But along that way, I will have to say that I have recognized the face of the Antichrist. And you probably have seen him too. Oh yes, he's uh, an incredible PR guy who has lots of people working for him. But in my email to my Facebook friends, I got a reply yesterday that said, Judaism is totally against all non-Jews. Judaism is the Antichrist. When I read that, I felt distinctly uncomfortable. But I have to respect that person's point of view because they have their own reasons for saying that. And I know that this particular person lives in Cairo and maybe has encountered some turbulence and witness some of the atrocities from both sides. But I am not here to judge a particular religion, but what I can say, and this is my opinion, not the opinion of the Judaic, Islamic or Christian church, it's my opinion, that the Antichrist is alive and well. Oh, you better believe it, brother and sister, because it's true, and I'm not here to frighten you. I'm here to alert you to the cunningness, the deception, and the games that the Antichrist plays with our head center, our ego. Let me list you a few examples. We've encountered as an interspiritual community quite a lot of resistance from within the established church. Some of our brothers and sisters see us as a cult, a new age. They cannot seem to see that what we're doing is not to replace religion, but to embrace all beliefs. And that is inspired by our love of the one God, the Supreme, who is the spiritual father, mother God of all beliefs because it's my belief that we are all children of the one God. But the Antichrist manifested himself within that community of Christians when one particular member who refused to acknowledge the Essenes that Jesus was an Essene, and she thought when she heard me say that, that I was barking mad. Well, maybe I am. Cracked, maybe, and yes, you've got to be cracked to let in some light. But had that have been me, say, 15 years ago, I would have said, this guy, Brother Sean, he's barking mad. He's so new age. But I'm not. 
and Jesus was on the scene. But this particular lady was an ordained minister, retired. But her actions were fueled, not by love, but by hate. And she conspired against us by getting together a group of the more mature elderly members of that church in our village. And before too long, there was a vendetta and I was asked to leave because in their opinion, I wasn't a Christian. That is one of the faces of how the Antichrist works. He implants a thought that appeases our ego, where we can use it as a time bomb to unleash against those who are vortexes of light, who embrace the light with no agenda. Another example would be two family members of mine tried to discredit me on the internet as a scammer because they were challenged in love to address some important issues like why were they abusing my mother? Why was there psychological and physical abuse? And why were they thieving from her? But as soon as they knew that I was having them investigated for truth, they tried to stop me. That is a manifestation of how the Antichrist can challenge us when we're faced with the truth rather than admit to the truth and ask for forgiveness and say sorry. But we feed that ego and we go on a downward slippery slope or spiral where we end up hurting ourselves. Another would be what's happening in Syria where you've got two factions of the beautiful Muslim faith, Shiite and Sunni, who don't approve of the political leaders of the day. And they're killing one another, just like the Catholics and Protestants were in Northern Ireland. And I lived in the midst of those troubles as a young nursing monk. And it was so hateful what the IRA were doing to us as a community of nursing monks, because we dared to look after non-Catholics. Every other night of the week we were threatened with bomb scares and in a psychiatric hospital in those days we had locked wards and it was mayhem. That was the face of the Antichrist, inspiring people to act out of God's comfort zone and take the law of God into their own hands and threaten God's children. What's happening in Syria is exactly the same. Ego is the seedbed of this PR consultant I call the Antichrist, who will do his damnedest to stop us, the Teo community, from being a bridge for uniting all fates to come and sing with one voice, a song of freedom, a song of love, and a song of joy. But hey, we're not frightened, because on our side we have truth. We have the love of God that inspires us not to pass judgment, not to create a clique, but to see the whole family of God in its entirety. Another face of the Antichrist is what's happened in the Catholic Church where priests violated their priestly ministry and started abusing and then the cover-up, the, the duplicity and complacency, the arrogance, that is a manifestation of the Antichrist who came into a beautiful church. And because of fear, they went along with it for many, many years knowing the truth. But now that the truth is out, it hurts. So the Antichrist has been shamed because they've been held to account. And nothing has gone underground. And it's the same with the political correctness in our world. It's the same with the banking crisis and the recession, that is another manifestation of the face of the Antichrist. Greed, corporate greed, and society, another manifestation of the Antichrist, is our insatiable desire to keep up appearances and to live beyond our means. These are the ploys that the Antichrist uses. But I would never dream of saying that Judaism Christianity, Hinduism or Sikhism or Muslim 
is the Antichrist, I would say that those who represent it and to abuse God's love for their own selfish, egotistical end, that is a manifestation of the Antichrist. But we mustn't be afraid, and that's what the Antichrist does. He creates that insatiable, unhealthy fear, causing soul entrapment. Banish him immediately and don't play his game.